Hello everyone, welcome back to your favorite troubleshooting channel, Fix Netflix YouTube channel. If you stay with us all the way to the end of this video and try each of these methods, and there is very high probability that this problem will be solved for you. In this video, we will show you through some easy steps for non-technical people to fix the issue and get your Xbox back online. Before we start if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Fix Netflix for more helpful tech tips and tutorials. If you face any problems during this session, then don't hesitate to inform me on comment section. I will be happy to help you and answer your all queries as soon as possible. So, let's start it. Step 1. Check Internet Connection If your Xbox is not connecting to Wi-Fi, the first step is to troubleshoot the network connection. Start by checking if other devices in your home can connect to the Wi-Fi network. If other devices are working fine, then the issue may lie with the Xbox itself. Step 2. Restart Router, Modem and Xbox Our second step is to restart your router and Xbox. This is a good first thing to try if you are having network issues as it can often fix problems not just for your Xbox, but for all your connected devices. Here is how to do it. Unplug the power cable from your router and Xbox. Then wait for 2 minutes. While waiting, press and hold the power button on your Xbox for 10 seconds to get rid of any remaining electricity. Then plug the power cable back into your Xbox and wait for it to turn on again. Following these same steps for router and modem to resolve connectivity issues. Step 3. Replace Router Closer to the Xbox Sometimes, your router may be too far from your Xbox. Try moving it closer to establish a better connection. Ensure that your Xbox is within range of the Wi-Fi router and there are no physical obstructions that could weaken the signal. Step 4. Update Xbox Firmware Your Xbox might not be running on the latest firmware version. Now, this comes with frequent bugs, so your Xbox running on an older firmware version could also be a reason behind Wi-Fi connection issues. Step 5. Use a 5 GHz Wi-Fi band. Using the 5 GHz Wi-Fi band can help improve the performance of your Wi-Fi connection, as it can be less crowded and less prone to interference than the 2.4 GHz band. However, it is essential to note that the 5 GHz band has a shorter range than the 2.4 GHz band, so it may be less effective if you try connecting devices far away from the Wi-Fi router. Step 6. Connect an Ethernet cable to Xbox. If you cannot connect your Xbox to your Wi-Fi network, try connecting it to your network using an Ethernet cable instead. This can be a good option if you are experiencing issues with the Wi-Fi signal or want to ensure a stable and reliable connection. Step 7. Check Time and Date Settings Sometimes, your Xbox internet connection may not work properly due to incorrect time and date settings. The time and date settings are crucial for various functions of the Xbox including accessing online content and services. To resolve this issue, you should ensure that your Xbox time and date settings are configured correctly. Step 8. Connect to a mobile hotspot. If you are unable to connect your Xbox to the internet, you may be able to connect to a hotspot using your mobile device. A hotspot might be helpful if you have a temporary network outage or your streaming device is outside of Wi-Fi range and need to set up Xbox powered by Xbox operating systems. Step 9. Uninstall your VPN app from Xbox. If you have a VPN installed on your Xbox, it may be preventing the Xbox from connecting to the Internet. You can quickly rule this out by temporarily uninstalling the VPN and checking to see if you can connect to the internet. If that fixes the problem, contact the developers of your VPN app for information about how to configure it. Step 10. Reset your Xbox. When all else fails, it's time for a factory reset. Just be aware that this will erase all your settings, 
Accounts and Apps, returning your Xbox to its original state. So, that's the whole story, my friends. We've covered the steps to fix Wi-Fi or internet connection issues on your Xbox. If you face any problems or still have same experience, please leave a comments here. I will be happy to help you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Fix Netflix for more tech tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next video.